Okay, uh, the question was asked if a wall style doesn't exist in a model and if uh, you cannot find a wall style to load or a family, how do you edit or create a, a new wall style? So uh, this tutorial is on how to do that. What I've done is uh, started a metric model uh, with a uh, 1.5 meter by 2 meter building and I created a wall down the middle uh, and I used the default wall style which will be a generic uh, 200 millimeter wall. So what I want to do is I want to create a, a wall type uh, that is a uh, steel stud with chip rock on either side. So uh, when I go to my list of wall types, you'll see there are a number of wall types there, but these do not specifically identify what type of uh, you know studs there are, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to a wall type that I know is using wall studs or metal studs. So here's uh, exterior brick on metal stud. And I'm going to then go to edit wall type and uh, you never want to change the existing wall types. You want to duplicate and then name it accordingly. So I'm going to call this uh, interior wall steel stud 92 millimeter GWB uh, both sides. GWB being gypsum wall board. Then under the construction area of the palette uh, structure you can select edit and you'll notice that it identifies all the materials. Uh, there's finish, membrane, core boundary structure, etc, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the materials I don't need. So the exterior things like the masonry so on, I can highlight those rows and click delete, 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 and delete. And on the interior, because it's an interior wall, we don't need the vapor barrier on the inside, so I'm going to delete that as well. And you, the Giprock uh, plasterboard is 13 millimeters, that's the equivalent of half an inch. So what I want to do is I want to click on core boundary so it's highlighted and select insert. I want to add plasterboard on the exterior as well, or the other face of the stud wall. So I'm going to click on structure one and I'm going to pick off the list the same uh, notation as on the other side which is finish two bracket five. Category I'm going to select plasterboard which is already on the list and click OK. For thickness I'm going to pick 13 millimeters. Of course if you're using a thicker ball board you'd input that particular uh, thickness. And under structure I'm going to use a 4 inch, the equivalent of 4 inch in metric so that is going to be not 152 which is 6 inch equivalent. I'm going to use 92. So I can preview this and that's what it looks like. So there's the steel studs over here and the jip rock and the jip rock there. So I'm going to click OK. So I've edited it. Uh, you'll notice that under the pa panel, or sorry, under the uh, list of parameters, uh, function is exterior. Because uh, it's interior, we're going to select interior. And then we're going to click OK. And you'll now notice that the wall has thinned out. And it is, if you select it, it is a basic wall interior, wall steel stud, 92 millimeters, gypsum wall board both sides. And that is how it is done. Now, uh, that can basically be applied to any wall type, but remember the most important thing you must keep in mind is that you don't edit an existing wall family, you uh, make a duplicate of it and then edit the duplicate.